It's all right. It's all right. I'm smoking. It's a blue pipe. So it's okay. I saw that speech last night by the hockey mom. I don't normally watch anything that McCain does. I mean, I got him figured out. And all he does is attack Obama. And I see Obama as a man of hope. I see McCain as a man of despair. But the uh, speech last night, I was shocked when CNN, when the reporters there, remarked at how wonderful the speech was. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know. I speak publicly quite a bit. Uh, when I make a speech, I normally write some notes. I don't use a teleprompter, and I work off those notes. I watched her eyes, and I, I tell you, you don't believe me, but watch people's eyes. They tell you a great deal. You see me? You don't see me blinking all the time. I blink because I'm old. I think that old people tend to blink their eyes more than uh, young people blink, though sometimes young people blink a lot. There's something, be the speech to me, I look at it, you know, after three days of working on something, uh, she didn't write the speech. Those hate mongers in the background, in the back rooms, they wrote that speech. It wasn't the speech, though, that distressed me. Am I the only one that noticed this? It was the people that were at that convention. <laughs> if there were an award for the most people gathered together with wigs and toupees. That Republican National Convention should receive high honors. It's so distressing to see, and I don't know if it is that evangelical thing, I'm not sure. Uh, theology has been one of the mainstays of my life, not only as a teacher of that in the parochial schools, but uh, <laughs> it involves my own my own soul. So I I do pay close attention to that. I I'm distressed over the issue that uh, this mom and the Republicans seem to think it's just peachy keen for a minor to have sex, unprotected sex. I, I'm distressed that they've turned that into actually making her a hero for having a child that did that. I mean, I just don't understand it. It's so strange coming from people that are so judgmental. People that peer into the Bible and are free to interpret it any way they choose and it changes from one day to the next there's not an argument that they can't support within the words of the Bible it's very confusing to me they're so judgmental and everything must be done their way compare the people that were at that Democratic National Convention. What a hodgepodge of people. Black, Chinese, Muslims, but people. Regular people. People like I see when I walk up and down the street. Young people. Oh, so many young people. Bright-eyed, hoping for a great future. And then I watched that Republican convention, the one and only time. I won't watch it again. Look at the people. Think back on movies. Remember the attack of the zombies? Remember Night of the Living Dead? They're 
here. And they seem to have even gotten into CNN. I don't know if it wasn't so important the next few months. It would almost be funny. But it isn't funny. The Night of the Living Dead coming to life on my TV set scares the hell out of me. People who can make sin somehow nice. Somebody who can speak and, and make sin appear as a plus to make their case as they hide behind their wigs and their phoniness. Don't be fooled, my friend. My dog is sick. It's affected it's affected my thinking, maybe, but I don't think so. And I realize speaking out against McCain is very dangerous. I think I said in a video, two or three videos back, McCain sucks. Maybe I edited it out, and maybe I shouldn't have said it now. I do not like him. <laughs> Doing it again. And it cut my, uh, my views by about 50%. So maybe... It's more zombies, phony people, with a very shallow view on religion. Maybe they're going to win. God protect us. What did they do in the movie The Night of the Living Dead? What happened to the old people at the end of that movie? Ah, I would finish this, but I'm going back to the VCR and look at that again. But first I've got to finish Chainsaw Massacre, if you will excuse me. What the hell is that? It's not in the mirror when I look in the mirror, but it's here every time I make a video. Faster! It's here in the newspaper. I can't believe what these reporters... <laughs> One has to have courage and speak out. One has to share their view. What's that? Who are they? What do they want?